Hey y'all, good afternoon. Happy Monday to each and every one of you. I hope you all are staying cool because it is hot as a mosquito whoop here. All right, guys, I want to come in with a, um, I want to see a short snip of a topic, but I want to come in with a topic um, about um, taking on to a relationship too fast. Do you think that it is safe in the beginning to fall in love? My opinion, absolutely not. You have to walk in love first and foremost before you fall in love. Is that a hard task? Yes, sometimes that can be a hard task for you to walk in love. You can actually fall in love. Forgive me for the sound that you hear in the back. That's my tank with my turtle in there. But guys, I seen this video of this young lady, very attractive young lady. Now, I don't know the full um, scenario of the, the story, but I'm going to give you little bits and pieces of what I've read so far. Okay, now there's this app that's called Duo, D-U-O, Duo. Uh, oh, oh, excuse me. And um, I have friends that's on Duo. Okay, you meet these men on these apps and you have to be... Three words, mindful, cautious, and very, very careful. All right, so this young lady, she met this guy on Duo. Hold on, guys. And um, she's a very attractive girl. He's a very nice-looking brother. But, but bro, played her. He played her. You know, that's why I am so particular and so very cautious and careful about falling in love these days because as you guys know Anastasia has been there not once but twice with my daughter father who is deceased now may his soul rest in peace and with the Haitian guy the married guy whom I don't know where he is and um, don't give two dams but I just hope he's well and alive and okay so she met this gentleman on duo so at any point or another this lady was um going through I uh, guess peer pressure within finding a job or whatever so she winds up getting this job with uber hold on one more time and however the means may be she took on to the job so she met this gentleman on duo so you know they conversate they talk you know you can see each other face to face and so they start to date and as time progressed, you know how they say, love at first sight? That is possible. Love at first sight. It was love at first sight, I guess, for her. And she thought that it was love at first sight for him as well. And anyway, to make a long story short, they began to date. Now, this sister not knowing... That this bruh was a total, complete player. He was a downright player. A very much so uh, womanizer, manipulator, okay, cheater. So she's a very, very pretty girl, and he's a handsome man. And at any rate, you know, she took on to the job. So, you know, being an Uber driver, it, it keeps you very, very, very much so busy. And so they date, and you know... And um, she fell in love with him. I don't know for sure if he fell in love with her or he pretended to be in love with her or, um, you know, led her to believe that he was in love with her. But she was totally in love with this guy. I'm drinking coffee, y'all. Would you believe that? Anyway, her job consists of her being working all the time. So this young lady was uh, called to go and pick up a young, another young lady at the airport. She went to pick up this other lady at the airport, okay? So let me tell you where I'm going with this. This brother, he played a manipula manipulative lie on her, and he knew that he was going to see this other woman. He knew that this woman was going to come to his complex. So he lied, he literally lied to this girl whom he's been dating off a duo for quite some time. So he lied to her, and he told her he used his mother how dare you use your mother as your scandalous cheating? 
he used his mother as his scapegoat to um, see this other woman that was supposed to be coming from wherever she was coming from, um, traveled over to come and see him. He lied and he said that he had to travel out to New York because his mother was very, very, very sick. And he had to go out to New York and that he was going to be leaving. In other words, I'm going to be leaving. There's no reason or, you know, or another that you should be coming here to the complex because I'm not going to be here. Now, mind you, their boyfriend and girlfriend, they confirmed that they were boyfriend and girlfriend. But she was in love, you know, love at first sight. And so she believed him as us women, you know, tend to believe some of the manip manipulative lies that men can feed us because we be so infatuated, turned out and in love with these men. So she led to believe him that he was going to New York to go see about his sickly mother, which was totally, completely a lie. Because by her being an Uber driver, she has to be consistent on top of her job. So that then as time progressed, they didn't really have a, like, a lot of time to be together. So the day of the day that he was supposed to be leaving to go to New York, he led her to believe he was going to New York and he knew he wasn't going to New York, guys. He hugged her, you know, she was saddened because, you know, he had he told her that he's going to be over there for X amount of time, knowing that he made plans and reservation for this other woman who was coming in from wherever, another city, state or wherever she was coming in to come to his complex to come and be with him. So I guess he must have lived far or something. But the girl that was infatuated with him and was in love with him, she didn't know because he fed her this BS lie. And, okay, so she, you know, she believed him and she, you know, respected that. And she just went on with her daily duties as her Uber driver, being an Uber driver. Not knowing when she got the call to go to the airport and pick up this young lady from the airport and travel her out where he lives at. And so as time progressed, as she drived and drive and drive, the lady was, you know, calling the guy, you know, she was saying that, you know, I'm so excited. You know, I haven't seen my boyfriend, the one that she went to pick up from the airport. I haven't seen my boyfriend in quite some time. And I'm just so ecstatic. I'm so excited about seeing him. I can't wait to get there to see him. So the girl, you know, the Uber driver, she's talking to her, you know, yeah, okay, you know, that's nice, I'm so excited for you. But because, you know, her boyfriend, she thought was traveling out to New York, she became saddened because, you know, she knew that she was going to miss her boyfriend, not knowing that this woman that was sitting in the back of her car was the woman that was going to see her boyfriend. He never went to New York. He planned that. He planned that whole, that whole scape thing out to get away from this woman who was in love with him. All right. So as time proceed and as the ladies, you know, going to, you know, to the dude's house and the Uber driver, she was already sad because she thought that her boyfriend traveled to New York and she knew she was going to miss him and listening to this young lady conversation about how much she was missing her boyfriend and realizing that she was going to miss her boyfriend as well. Not knowing that this guy, that this lady in the back of the car was talking about was her man who she was going to go see. She traveled from where she came from to go and see him. As time proceeds, as they're driving, the lady in the back, she's calling him, you know, asking him, you know, well, what gate do I go through? How far do I go down? What entrance do I enter? And so as time proceeds, the driver, the Uber driver, she's driving, and they're getting closer to the destination of this woman in the back to go see her boyfriend, which is the girl in the front boyfriend. As they got near... Which where her boyfriend lived, the girl, the Uber driver, her boyfriend lived. And, you know, the Uber driver, she's looking like, wow, you know, th this is the, where the complex where my boyfriend lives at. But he traveled out to New York. Well, the boyfriend never traveled out to New York. He planned this thing for this other woman to come and see him coming from another city or state. And as they got closer to the destination... She called him and he told her what gate and, you know, to come through, what exit to enter and everything. So as they gradually get closer and closer and closer, the Uber driver looking like, wow, you know, this is really weird. You know, hey, this is where my boyfriend lives, you know, but he traveled out to New York. I'm just kind of paraphrasing it a little bit. So as they got there, the young lady in the back says, oh, he's going to be coming down. He's going to be coming downstairs in a few to meet me and baby when I tell you 
When I tell you, I can imagine the expression on her face and on his face when he seen the Uber driver, which was his girlfriend, whom they were confirmed, boyfriend and girlfriend, who he lied to and told her that he was traveling out to New York to go see his sickly mother, who used his mother as his clutch, his scapegoat, just to get some goddamn put that, some damn new thrust he had this woman, the Uber driver, to believe that he was actually going to New York. And under no circumstance, bro never even went to New York. He planned this whole thing out so that this girl could not come to his crib while this other woman is there while he's smashing her getting that thrust. Okay? So when bro came out, when bro came out and the Uber driver looked... The expression, I can imagine, because I was just reading the paragraph of it. It wasn't the actual, like, video of it. It was the actual paragraph of what she was talking about. How hurt was this young lady? I can imagine. She said when she got out the car and she looked, it was her boyfriend. The, the girl that was sitting in the back of the car, I guess she wondered, like, what the hell is going on here? What is what the hell is going on here? You know, the look and the expression I can imagine on that Uber driver's face who's out there struggling and striving, trying to make ends meet to survive in this life, in this world, had a manipulator, fornicating, womanizer man who filled her head with nothing but BS, nothing but manipulative lies. And led that woman to believe how much she loved her. Now, the girl, her picture was showed. She's an actually beautiful girl. He's a very nice looking man. So you mean to tell me you lied to this young lady just because you wanted to get some new thrust in? All you had to do if you was going to do some BS like that is just, you know, just say, hey, I'm not going to be home tonight. You know, I'm hanging out with my boys or some, some shit like that. You know how some men can do. I'm not going to label them all because all men are not the same. All men are not in the, in the same category. But guys, can you just imagine the look on that young lady's face when she looked and seen that that was her boyfriend? And she stated, wow. In her head, she was saying, that's my old man. That's my boyfriend. You know, I don't remember her speaking out loud to say, hey, that's my man. But, baby, let me tell you something. By the time I would have got through with his black ass out there, now, I wouldn't have went for her because the girl didn't know that the Uber driver was his girlfriend. She didn't know. So you can't blame, the Uber driver can't blame the girl in the back seat of the car. The, the girl in the back seat of the car was told manipulative lies as well as the girl in the front seat who was the Uber driver was told manipulative lies about him going to New York to check up on his sickly mother. All right? So I say this to say, guys, girls, we have, you know, we have so many men that can play a role, a manipulative role, in hurting women. Now, that's why I said there's 100 women to one man. You know? There's like 100 women to one man. Now, do some men got game? But see, at the end of the day, what you do, reflects back on you what you do you shall and will and can leave evidence behind some way somehow you're going to fuck up and you're going to leave some sort of an evidence now see let me tell you something how god works in mysterious ways lord forgive me for saying the cuss word let me tell you how god works in mysterious ways god wanted to reveal this to her he wanted to open up her eyes to let her see that what you're dealing with what you fell in love with, love at first sight, he is a womanizer, manipulator, fornicating, cheating ass man who really didn't really have love for her. He played her, he used her, he manipulated her as well as he was going to manipulate and use that one in the back seat of that car. So you mean to tell me that you did all this manipulative shit just to get some new brussy? And hurt that Uber driver, the driver, the girl in the front, who was supposed to have been that young man's girlfriend? You're going to play her and hurt her like that? I can just imagine. I wish she would have role played that out in a video. I could just imagine the expression on her face and the expression on his face and how he explained himself. Now, the young lady that was in the backseat of the car, again, she had absolutely no clue. That this Uber driver was this man's girlfriend whom lied to her. 
who lied to the driver, not the girl in the back seat, but to the driver, that he was traveling out to go see about his sick mother. A manipul manipulative lie, BS lie. You see, guys, that's why I stated in that video, that young lady or that young man who made that accusation, that was her opinion, and said, oh, that's probably why the married man didn't want me because, you know, you're fat. Okay, I'll be fat, as I state. Yes, I am a big girl. But again, the word bitch I will not accept. Now, can you imagine how this young lady, this Uber driver, felt looking her boyfriend in the peers of his eyes, the man that she deeply fell in love with, love at first sight. It was love at first sight for her. He led her to believe that it was love at first sight for him. But all the while, he was a fornicating, manipulating, womanizer, user, you know, cheating ass man. Now, that lady that was in the backseat of the car, uh, she had no clue. Absolutely no clue. But let me tell you what Anastasia Garadelli world would have did. Baby, I'm sorry. I guess I would have lost my mother flipping job. Because, see, I ain't going to come for her. Because she knew, she, she, she didn't know. But for him, I'd have tore her ass up. I'm telling you, I would have tore her ass up. Yo, me and him would have been fighting in that parking lot. Not because the fact that you brought a new trusse over and you played me and lied to me about going to see about your sickly mother whom had absolutely no clue, nothing to do with this and was not sick. She had nothing to do with this, but the damn boyfriend played this role and played this girl like that and hurt her. I know she was deeply, deeply hurt when this mother effing man did this to her. Baby, when I say I would have thrown her ass up, I would have thrown her ass up. The popo, the popo would have been coming getting the Anastasia Garadelli's world. I wouldn't have whooped his ass because of another woman. I would have whooped his ass because he disrespect me. And he lied to me. And he manipulated me. And he violated me. And he knew he was a womanizer from day F and one. Don't play your games with me, bruh. If you don't want me, you know, don't play me. I'm going to put a disclaimer on this song by Fantasia. <clears throat> and baby, if you don't want to talk to me, go on ahead and free yourself. If you don't want to talk to me, go on on and free yourself. <laughs> Okay, free yourself. Don't play me and try to violate me, manipulate me, and use me. Knowing that you out here smashing all kinds of thrusts. Now, that young lady who was the Uber driver, I can imagine her hurt, her pain, her frustration. Let me tell y'all something. I'd have slapped the whole freaking shit out of him. I'd have slapped that ass down. I know I can't be the man, but I, I'm telling you, I would have gave him a run that day. I'd have gave him a run that day. And I would have let that young lady in the back know, oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's your man? Oh, well, let me tell you what he told me. He told me that he was going out to New York to see about his sickly mother. His mother was sick, and he had to go travel out to New York and stay for a, couple of, uh, for a week with his sickly mother. Oh, so he lied to me just to get to you? Well, girlfriend, let me tell you, if he did it to me, he'll do it to you. Okay? So, all right, you're here. But let me just leave you with this. Baby, <laughs> bro, I'm done with you. Go ahead, smash, smash your women. But baby, girlfriend, if I were you, I, I'm just giving you my opinion. The girl, the Uber driver, this is what I would have said if, if I was the Uber driver. If I was you, I'd hop my ass back on that plane and I'd care my ass on about my business. Because look at me, how... He never expected me to be the Uber driver that dropped you off. And he knew his girlfriend was an Uber driver. You dumb dick. You didn't have no indication that your girl was going to be picked up. Your new girl was going to be picked up by your girlfriend. That's who you said that love at first sight. Wow. You see, that's why I say God has a way of turning things around and he has a way of revealing things to you. And it is a wonderful thing that God has revealed these things to her. Because if he had not revealed this to her, how many other women is he going to screw? Oh, he's definitely going to screw another one. So, baby, hey, the girl that came over from where she came from to come travel to see him, to stay with him for a week, which she lied and said he had to go travel out to Silk Sea by his mother and stay with him for a week to take care of her. Yeah, he was taking care of his mother, all right. He was getting ready to take care of some new brosse. That what he was getting ready to do. He was getting ready to take care of some new brosse. Okay, not, not brosse, but some new brosse. 
Baby, if he was going to get some of that girl thrusty that night, I guess he would have been in there just trying to smash us both because, uh, well, technically speaking, he wouldn't have smashed me. But uh, I wasn't going to go nowhere. I wasn't going to go nowhere. I was going to let him know. Okay, okay. You said you was traveling to New York. All right, so you didn't go. So, oh, this is what you waited for. Oh, so this is your New York. This is your mother that you had to go travel over to New York to see about, huh? Well, I ain't going no damn way. Okay, he may not let me in his apartment, but baby, I would have performed on his ass so good, so nice and good out there. I'd have towed his ass up. When I say tear his ass up, I'd have towed his ass up. Now, the young lady... I can't fault her. I wouldn't jump on her. I wouldn't even argue with her. I would basically tell her, girlfriend, this is, this is a word from God. God has revealed to me and you both that this mother effort don't mean me, you, no good. So he's going to get your, your pussy for the whole week and left me just leave me standing, lying to me. So if this hadn't happened and he came back from supposedly going to see his sick mother and came back, what, 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 what was he going to explain to me? You know, how's your mother doing? Oh, my mother's doing fine. You know, I was over there taking care of her, but she's much better. Well, technically speaking, I guess she would have probably been much better because you was getting ready to get you some new damn thrusty. You get ready head for the borderline and get that new thrusty for a whole week while your girlfriend out there driving mother flipping Uber trying to make ends meet. You bastard. Uh, baby, I would have told her, get in your car or, or, or call another Uber. Or better yet, would you like me to take you back to the airport, baby? Because, um... If he doing this kind of shit to me, God has revealed it to you and me both. I'd have left that bastard standing there with a busted damn face. All right? Now, I'm not a violent person, but what you ain't going to do, you ain't going to play Anastasia Garadelli's world. That's why I always indicate in my videos, mindful, cautious, and careful. Very much so important words. Because we have some men that can be so, so, so naive and so manipulative and so violating. And, and they, they could just hurt the woman down to the grind of her soul. Now, you guys already know Anastasia has been hurt. But I had to learn to cope and deal with it. Did I let this bastard come back into my life? When I told you guys in the video that I uh, previously made, what, about a week ago, that... He said he wanted to come and see me. Then he took upon himself. I told him, don't come to my house without me confirming it. But then a couple of days later, after I made the video, you come at my mother effing door. Bastard, are you crazy? You lost your mind. Have you lost your mind? You done been out there in all kinds of thrusty. And now you want to come back and you think you want to go back up in my pyramid, up in my thrusty. And not knowing if you got herpes on the head of that damn thing, they call it dangling the head of your dick. And you think you was going to come back here and thought you was going to put your thing in Anastasia Garrett. Well, it well throws it. Motherfucker, if you don't get the fuck up out of my dough, if you don't get up out of my dough, oh, well, you know, I got to use the bathroom. Can I use your bathroom? First he said, uh, you're not going to let me in? No, I'm not letting you in. What do you want? You can speak to me out of here because I asked you not to, to creep up on me like that. What you thought you was creeping up on me and thought you was going to walk up on me on my new man? You don't know if my new man was here or not. You don't do no shit like that. What if I do it to you? What if I suddenly go up to your wife's house and disrespect your wife and knock at your door and your wife come to the door and say, who are you? And all of a sudden I tell you, I'm Martha. I'm that girl. Remember me? I'm that girl you talk to about your infidelity, fornicating, promiscuous, cheating ass, little dot dick, Vienna Sasha. Husband, well, he, he, well, you know, guys, the little that did, little chilling dick, little, little Vian Sasha, I can't lie now, it, it did some things for me now, it did some things for me, okay, how would you felt if I did that to you, bruh, so I can imagine again how that expression on that young lady's face was, she was probably hurt down to the grind of her soul, so guys, when you meet these guys on, on dating apps and women, I mean men, if you meet these women on dating apps and women, if you meet these men on dating apps, you have to be very mindful, cautious, and careful. 
It is important, if you can avoid it, to walk in love, not fall in love. Not ASAP. Not so damn fast. Don't give up that thrust too fast. See, when you give that thrust up too fast, especially if that man got some work, baby, he got that dangling called that na 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 gla. That that big thing. That that big wood that hang down there almost below the, almost there near the knee. And he using that thing and he put, put that thing up in there and putting it down. I don't want no damn big old dangling like that tear my damn insides up here. Me getting the damn hit wreck of me. And I don't need that shit getting no hit a wreck of me. You know? And so, you don't give up your thrusty so fast when you meet these men on these dating apps. You don't enter a man into your home so fast. When you're meeting them on, even if you don't meet them on a dating app and you meet them in a store or, or at a bar or, you know, at, at, at whatever, you don't intervene them. You don't, you don't invite, you don't invite them into your home until you think that you know enough about them to let them in your home, especially if you got children. You don't let a man walk into, if I meet a man, Anastasia was out there today and went to the store. Now, if I would have met somebody today and said, oh, Anastasia, you know, you're a big girl, but you, you look nice. Let me get a little coffee, girl. I got some muffins. This is a muffin. Yeah, girl. Oh, my coffee cold. But, yeah, you know, you think I'm going to say, oh, hey, come on in. Now, like the married guy, as I stated to you guys, I told him, do not bring your ass to my house without me confirming it if it's okay for you to come here. Oh, he's going to take it upon himself to do it any mother flipping way. So then I tried to be nice. I came to the door because I was in the kitchen cooking. And I had the music on and I had the the um, the vestibule door open, but the screen door locked and it's, you know, the uh, window to the screen door up. And somebody was knocking on my door. Da, 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 da. So I walks over to the door. Okay, guys. I walks over to the door and I look and my mouth dropped to the fucking ground. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is you doing here, bro? Bro, what are you doing here? I had to see you. I just, I just, I just need to see you. Okay, so you take it upon yourself to just walk up on me, not knowing if I have a new boyfriend. Okay, not knowing for real, for real, if I still lived here or not. But you took it upon yourself to walk up to my front door. How dare you? Now I would have been wrong to return that shit back to him and go to his wife's house. But as they stated, or as he stated, he no longer lives in Philly. He resides in uh, Newark, New Yaki, New York, New Yaki, New York. That bastard don't live in no New Yaki, New York, guys. Let me tell you what he's doing. The married guy that I'm talking about. But I feel love for the girl, you know, and I, 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 I feel her pain and her frustration and, and, and her hurt. And I'm so sorry that he did that to her. And, sweetheart, I hope that you overcome this, you know, just pray and, and ask God to just cover you in the blood and you will overcome this. She's a young lady. So I know that that pen, you know, penetrate, penetrated down to the ground of her soul and hurt her very much. But let me tell you something. If, if, if this guy is supposed to be so much, I'm talking about my friend now, that fornicating infidelity, promiscuous, Nila dot, dick, little chilling, Vienna, Sasha, dick, that. It did some things and some things. Now, I ain't going to lie to y'all. Now, that little, little chilling dick did some things now. Now, you're supposed to be in New York, New York, bruh. Supposedly. Living over there with his brother and his wife. Why would your brother and his wife want you to be living over there? You might try to screw his damn wife. Because that's just how nasty and, and, and promiscuous and infidelity and fornicating your nasty ass is. You might try to screw your bro right. Let me tell you something. He is not in New Yankee, New York, guys. He is right here in Philadelphia. Right here in Philadelphia. But he stays out of the barometer. He stays out of the barometer. He stays out of the vicinity where I am to keep from running into me. But let me tell you how God can make that thing and turn that thing around. Because you know what, guys? When I saw him at my door, that was like Mission Impossible for me. He could never, ever in life... With that little needle dot chick, little chilling dick, Vienna Sasha, with the, 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 it's amazing things, y'all. He could never touch Anastasia Garadelli's world pyramid. My Kudina. You know what Kudina is? My Thrussy. He could never enter my Thrussy. 
my Kudina, that, that, you know, your, your Kudina down there, girls, that throws it. He could never enter it ever in life again because, baby, bro looked like he walking dead. He looked like he about to die any damn day now because he looked, forgive me, he looked like he about to die any day now. He looks horrible. When I say he looks horrible, he gray as, girl, God, man, he's so damn gray. But you know what? That's all that payback shit that's coming back on him. He's not in no New Yankee, New York, guys. Believe me when I tell you that. He's not in New Yankee, New York. See, he's scared that he was going to run into me with his little, you know, little young girls pulling up on his pink, pink, you know, putting put his little, pulling his little, 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 chilling, little, chilling dick in his mouth, in, in their mouth, you know, getting the little nails and the hair done and shit like that. That's what he thought he was going to do. And he know that, he know not to play with me because I don't play with him. You know what I'm saying? That's what he thought. So he was doing this little dirt. And guess what? Paybacks is a bitch. And revenge is a motherfucker. You weep what you sow. What you do comes back on you. You can't walk around this world and hurting people and violating people and manipulating people and think that it's not going to come back to bite you in your ass. Now, as I stated to you guys, was I wrong to mess with this woman's husband back in them years? Absolutely. Positively, yes, I was wrong. I was wrong, and I was, and it almost reminded me of myself with this young lady whom this man played, the boyfriend played her, just to have some new pussy come over. Excuse my friend, some new thrusty come over. You lied to this girl, you manipulated this girl, you violated this girl, you hurt this girl to the grind of her soul, just because you wanted to have sex with someone else. You know. And this is what my friend did, the fornicating bastard. This is what he did. But, you know, he's much older than the young man, you know. So is he still out there slanging dang lang I don't know. I don't even know if the man is dead or alive, truth be told. But if he is well, I mean, if he's alive, I hope him well. But one thing he wasn't going to do, he wasn't coming up in here and getting no thrusty from here. He said, you're not going to let me in? I said, let you in for what? You need when, First of all, you disrespect me and you walked up on my house. And I asked you not to come to my house without me confirming that if, if it was okay for you to come here. So you took it upon the, you took the initiative to walk your ass, to, to bring your ass down here to my house. What do you want? What, 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 what purpose are you, you know, are you going to serve from this coming to my house? What is it? What do you want? It's hot out here. You're not going to let me in? I said, whatever you need to say to me, you can say it to me right here on these steps. Okay. I said, let me get, he said, well, could you bring a chair out so we can sit there? Oh, no problem. We can sit up under the tree, you know. So after I put the chairs out, now he has to go to the bathroom. He has to piss. He didn't have to piss. See, guys, what he thought, because I was giving him such a hard time to come in my house, he wanted to know, was there a man in here? He said, I got to go to the bathroom. I said, you got to go to the bathroom now. Okay. All right, so I got up, trying to be nice. I let him in. I let him go to the bathroom. I came back in the kitchen. You know, I checked on my food. 